So I've got this layout that I've been using for the last couple of deep dive sessions. And this time we're going to fix this on mobile. I'm in preview mode at the moment and we can see it is completely unworkable. Everything's in the wrong place and there's a lot of reorganizing to do. Thankfully, it's relatively straightforward. So I think we better crack on. I'm going to jump back to the editor and in editing mode, we can just have a quick double check to make sure everything's in place. One thing before we jump in and do it is the best thing I could have done would have been to create one of these signposts first, then jumped into mobile whilst leaving this section blank, getting that all aligned and then duplicating the items across. It means that there's less to go wrong and less to be messed up. What I'm going to do though, before I jump across to mobile view is I'm just going to change the names of these buttons. At the moment, we're not going to know which one goes where. So even if this is just a temporary measure, it's good to do this. Even though the text for each of these are the same and they should be different by now, but I'm just going to change the call to action buttons. Okay, so we've got a little bit of adjustment to do here. Some of this text and the buttons are in a different place. So I'm just going to realign these now before we go into the next step of fixing our mobile. But now we've got three different text blocks, three images and three buttons that we know the order they should be in. Because it doesn't really matter what order these white cards go in because they're all consistent. So I'm going to save it, even though Hostinger Website Builder does auto save. I like to be old school and manually save wherever possible. And now we're going to start fine tuning this and improving it on mobile view. So first up, we can take this card effect backdrop and put it in the right place. Another option I've got here, we can see that we've got one text block for this information. And I'm thinking we don't actually show this introductory sentence on mobile view, which is an option we do have in Hustinger. So again, I can jump back to desktop view. And this time I'm going to duplicate this text block. So we've got this option here with the custom heading one. And here we can change this to a paragraph two or even paragraph one, I think it was. And if you're not quite following at the moment, it will be apparent in a moment. But by separating these blocks, just working out the spacing between them. Now, just to select those items. You can bring that down. Get some nice even spacing above and below that card and just slot it into position. It's not quite perfect yet. We've got a button that's not quite aligning. That's good enough for this example. So let's press save, jump over to mobile view. And now we can select this text area individually and we can hide it. So we can have it visible on desktop, but hidden on mobile. So we've just got to ignore that grayed out area. We still can see it. So I'm just going to move it up here on mobile just so it's out of the way so we can make sure everything else is aligned as we want. I can reduce the bounding box on mobile view, which will not affect desktop. We can't take it right the way to the edge of the mobile view, but we'd slot it in there and then get that in place first. It's been a bit fiddly to select that without selecting the text over top of it. Okay, it's getting closer to something I want now. That's bugging me a little bit where you can see the people in the background and it's interfering with the text. The only thing is, I believe if we change the opacity of this color on mobile, it will change it on desktop as well. So it's just finding a balance that works for us on both. Another option could be just to expand that image a little bit more. So we got less of a clash there, but it's often about fine tuning it and coming up with a solution that works for you. If I select both of these shapes, we can bring them down. And so we've got the people in between the letters and that's still bugging me, but I think I'm going to have to leave that there for now. I can always come back and readdress it. I could Photoshop them out. So it just gives a nice clearer finish. And that's normally what I would do. If this was a commercial project for a client, I would probably Photoshop these poor people out of the photo just so we've got that clarity then on mobile view. They would have disappeared from the desktop view here, but I'd have been fine with that. Okay, so with our hero unit working on desktop and mobile, let's jump across to this signpost section. 
So each of these three cards have individual content. And if we jump over to mobile, we can see at the moment that the text blocks are all mixed up. However, I believe they are in the right order, at least anyway. So if I was to bring these text blocks down a little bit, I'm going to make these images smaller. And we can see it's looking really pixelated on edit mode. I think it's just loading a low resolution version of the photo and that will be fixed on preview mode. At least that was the last time I checked that. So I brought those in place and now we've got, again, the three call to actions. And these signpost buttons are in the right order as well, which is handy. So I'm just going to expand the width of that. I'm going to need to do it to the other two now as well. Bring that up a little bit and I think the images are in the wrong order. So I think this one was first, that was second. And so if I align that to center to the same as the other one, I try and get it so that the images are the same size. So if I was to bring that down there, then bring it to the front, we can use the one behind it. That's a little trick to get all of our images the same size. For me, it's worth spending that extra moment just to get everything working as it should. I'm going to leave three grid spaces between the top of the image and the bottom of the next section, and we should have consistency then throughout our content. Final image, this one's already at the top, so we can make it smaller to start with, then just bit by bit enlarge that image so it overlays the background. It may not be pixel perfect just yet, but as long as we got it close enough so you can't see the difference by eye, that's what I'm after here. Bring that down for some breathing space and then bring in our final text block. But of course, we've got the button to go in as well. So I'll just check the spacing two grid rows there. So that will be the same again. And then these should slot down. So we've got equal spacing between each section. What we're looking for when we're thinking about the macro white space, so it's the spacing in between each of the blocks of elements, if that makes sense. So what we're looking to do is to have even spacing between each item here. So the button, the text, and the image being closer together than the space around them. But we've got one more element that will throw a spanner in the works here, potentially. And we've got two options. We can either hide these on mobile view, or we can see if we can find a solution that works, integrating them on mobile view. So I'll take the first block all the way up to the top here, bring it so it sits above that image. What we're gonna have to do is just bring this to the front, just so we can select that handle. Look at this section here, bring it down first, and now we send it to the back once we finish doing that. There's one thing that we need to improve here and that is the spacing either side of the text. So we want to do this by eye and just bring them in so that they are uniform left and right. So we don't have the text touching the edge of that box. Again, we could do what we did on the hero, which is just have the titles and hide, split up the titles from the text and then just have the titles on mobile view. Another little trick we've got here, we can actually have this button here overlap in the bottom or going full width. And I think I'll go for the full width option here. More of the same. Alternatively, we can, as I said, hide the blocks on mobile view, but I quite like this. Just adding a bit more space by default this time. And what I'm going to do now is just fast forward this. I'll put it on a time lapse just as I finish off these mobile options. And I'll catch up with you in just a moment. Okay, it may not be perfect. There may be some spacing that's still a little bit out, and I would check that normally. I think this is a bigger gap here. 
than the one above. So I just tightened that up a little bit. But what we should see now is a much better look and feel that looks polished and professional on mobile view. And let's have a quick preview of it. So we've got the photo behind there. Those people are still annoying me, but I get annoyed by people quite easily, quite the introvert. And we've got this signpost section here that just flows really nicely on mobile view, keeping that same card effect that we've got on desktop. The moment of truth is where we jump back to desktop view and to make sure that everything is as it was. And we can see the buttons are the same width, the cards are the same size, and that's all working nicely. So nothing really went wrong there first time. When we're working with website builders, things can go wrong for you. You might have some quirky little issues that you may need to refresh the browser. But all in all, that's looking really nice. I'm not sure what happened to the mobile menu there on preview. I'll have to look into that separately. It could just be that we're on a quick preview here. Once I check that on a mobile, it would fill that menu to full screen. And that's what I'm guessing there. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you find it useful. And I'm going to be thinking up more ideas for some of these deep dive sessions where we can really jump in and have a play around with hosting a website builder and some of the effects that we can add to it as well. If you've got any topics you'd like me to cover as part of these videos, then leave me a message. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Cheers. If you have found this video helpful, then why not try out some of our other content? I'm Elwin Davis, founder of Pixel Haze Academy, and I have been running successful fast growth web design agencies for 20 years. To jump further into the Hostinger rabbit hole, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, use my affiliate link and get 10% off Hostinger, get exclusive discounts on my Hostinger courses and the Pixel Haze VIP membership. On top of all of that, you can now book a one-to-one -one session with me and we can tackle your web design challenges together. You can find all of these options in the description. Enjoy.